right, my next video is about alcohol content. Um, in no way is this me, tr you know, the, the best way to avoid having problems with drinking is just to not drink. But for some of the older people who decide that they want to engage in drinking, it's always best to know exactly what you're drinking. So we're going to talk about alcohol content and how to determine just how strong a drink is. Um, by usually they have like numbers on the bottle and they'll be tell they'll have a percentage and the percentage will have like a maybe like anywhere from two percent to sixty percent and that'll tell you just how strong or just the alcohol content of what you're drinking which tells you how strong the drink is and um you know that should tell you um how watchful you need to be as far as what you're taking in your body because it's going to have a bigger effect and a faster effect. So uh, alcohol content uh, for for drinks such as beer and wines, those contain a low alcohol content, maybe like around 2%, uh, even goes as high as 20%. And some of the other uh, distilled drinks and liquors contain anywhere from 40 to 50%. Um, beer is usually 2% to 6% alcohol. Cider is 4% to 8% alcohol. Wine is between 8 to 20% alcohol. Uh, Tequila is out there, 40% alcohol. Rums and brandies, 40% alcohol. Uh, gin can be anywhere from 40 to 47% alcohol. Uh, you got whiskeys and vodkas that go anywhere from 40 to 50% alcohol. And um, you got flavored liqueurs that are anywhere from 15% to 60% alcohol. Like I said, these are numbers that you'll see on the bottle that give you an indication of just how strong the drink is that you're drinking. And, um, you know, you should always know what you're drinking. The best advice to avoid, the best advice would be to avoid any of this. But um, for those that are older and still plan on wanting to partake, it's always best that you understand exactly what you're putting into your body. And, um, you know, besides knowing what's on the bottle, you know, paying attention to who's in charge of your drinks, who's making your drinks. It's just always best to be as watchful as possible. It's always best to be as watchful as possible um, and have as much knowledge as you can. But the best decision I could tell you would be to just avoid it altogether, um, especially if you have no experience in dealing with alcohol. Um, so this is just some insight into reading alcohol contents. Um, I hope this video has helped someone. All right, thank you.